been a question for decades. Who is Millard County's Jane Doe? Her remains were found in 1979 in Millard County. She was a victim of a homicide. Little else is known, but that may soon change. Each missing person has a family, and for them, the search continues. ABC 4's Marcos Ortiz live in studio with tonight's Missing in Utah. Thanks, Glenn. You know, it's been more than four decades since those remains were found in Millard County. She was named Jane Doe and placed on NamUs. That's the national website for missing and unidentified persons. But just this week, Jane Doe's name was suddenly removed from the website. It began in August 1979 when Leonard Watts was waiting for a friend. They planned on doing some wood cutting. Watts was at Cove Fort in Millard County along with his family. While waiting, he noticed a rat's nest and poked at it. Run onto this body. Run onto what I thought was a body. I went and got my wife, and she confirmed what I thought. He called authorities in Millard County and told them what he had found. Basically, just a skeleton, just had a few limbs or stuff, debris thrown over it, nothing real serious, you know. The only thing that I seen was, uh, looked like maybe a homemade bra, and she had a watch on when authorities arrived, they noticed a Texas Instrument watch like this one found on the web. It was still ticking. For detectives, it meant she hadn't been there very long. It was apparent she had no teeth at all, and, and there was no dentures that were discovered at the scene. In 1979, it was Sheriff Phillips who oversaw the case of the body found near Cove Fort. His deputies returned with a metal detector, hoping to find anything related to the cause of the woman's death. At least one. Uh, slug that was later identified as a, I think, a 25 caliber. One of the unique things about it was uh, it didn't have a lot of markings on land, you know, what they call the lands and grooves on it. Soon, word spread of the female body found near Cove Fort. The autopsy showed no signs of violence. Authorities also found a ring with a green stone, and Sheriff Phillips said no persons from his county matched the description of the victim. It remained unsolved, and in 1984, a composite of the woman named Jane Doe was released by the sheriff's office. Still, there was no information about who she was. On this week's episode, you'll hear about a Jane Doe who was found dead in a rural Utah county. And Two years ago, the Utah Cold Case Coalition hosted a podcast on Jane Doe of Millard County. It was the first time there was any mention of a possible connection. I knew she was uh, went missing in was it 1979. Searched in 1979 and the first one that popped up was... Sandra Matat. Yeah. Now, Salt Lake City listed Sandra Matat as missing in 1979. Uh, so, was Matat the Jane Doe found in Millard County? Tomorrow, our story continues. For Missing in Utah, Marcus Ortiz, ABC4 News.